Eternal guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. Why we need to love the Master? Um, what I realized is, see Swamiji is sharing with us pure truth, ultimate truths. We might cognize them to a certain degree, imbibe them to a certain degree, but we don't fully grasp them. And what I realized is, we cherish, we have some thought currents that we cherish, which are not helping us to become more responsible, to be in the space of enlightenment and all that. But for some reason, we really love these thought currents. We are emotionally attached to these thought currents. So the only way to free ourselves from these thought currents is not only hearing the pure truth, but deciding to love something more than these patterns. And that is why loving the master is so important. When, you, when your love matures, when your understanding of love matures, when your expression of love matures towards the master, um, you will at some point decide to drop some of the patterns that you right now love very much and that you are strongly attached to or associated to. And you will drop them because the love for the master would have outgrown the love for the patterns. So what, I, what is clicking with me now, the kind of cognition which is arising, is that it's not only about hearing the spiritual truth, but it's also deciding to love the spiritual truth. The Master Swamiji is the embodiment of these spiritual truths. When you love Swamiji, you love Paramashiva. Swamiji is radiating these truths. He is living these truths. He is operating from these truths, from these principles. When you love him, automatically you will decide to truly love these higher principles and not just understand them, but you will decide to live them in the same way that Swamiji is living them. So uh, it's very important to love. When you love and you drop the patterns you cherish because your love towards Swamiji is outgrowing the love towards your pattern, your attachment, I should say, that's not real love. It's more of a possessive kind of love, human possessive love, not divine love, not prem, like we say in Sanskrit. Uh, and uh, when, you, when your love towards Swamiji outgrows the, the, the false love that we feel is real, but the more and more we discover the other love, the more we realize that the, the human love is, very, uh, is not deep enough, not powerful enough. So anyways, when that love drops for the patterns and we start to live the principles, this is where our inner space matures and this is where the master can pour more and more of him into us more and more of powers can be gifted to that being because the being the inner space is ready to handle more and more power and radiate more and more responsibility so that's what i want to share with you in this video if you have any comments please write them below um, inviting you to check the description below, uh, the first link especially, which is to become an e Sri Kailasa Vasi, to become a spiritual citizen of the nation of Sri Kailasa. And uh, watch Swamji Satsang in the night, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Nityananda.